Oh, there's nothing like a good shower, is there? Oh. Anyway, wash off the stink of the day. Probably something like the sort of federal member for Brisbane, Teresa Gambaro, would say she's got herself in a little bit of a hot water lately by making a very outrageous statement. She was actually saying that migrants, right, that migrant um, people should be taught when they come to Australia to wear deodorant and to not <laughs> to wait in queues because that's part of Australian culture. I don't know where she's been hanging out because I certainly know some pretty stinky Australians. Ooh, for better or for worse. You know, I've been to yoga classes with my beautiful chemical free crystal using friends and I <laughs> they get a bit of a woof up. It's actually quite nice though, you know. I don't find the smells of people that disgusting. It's it's a personal thing. And I, I think actually implying that migrant people stink <laughs> is a little bit I don't know, bigoted, uh, perhaps. Because it's sort of like I remember being at school and you know there was always this kid oh, Shout irritates me. There's this kid, you know, the Italian kid that used to come with a stinky salami sandwich and, you know, like a garlic bread or something. It'd all be going, oh, you're disgusting, you stink, look at your little stinky little woggy boy, right? Terrible. It wasn't that it stunk, it just smelled different to Vegemite. Have you smelled Vegemite? It reeks. It's just that if something falls outside your cultural context, it's different. Therefore, it's different. It's just different. It's not necessarily bad, nor does it need to change. But not according to Ms. Gambaro, who's going out there going to do like a Rexona drop <laughs> to all the new Australians. It is one of those lovely things, I think. That, you know, it's part of the, the thing, you know, you, you can learn about people too, by the way they smell. You know, that's how we pick up on people, their pheromones. It's like, I don't know, it's like a smellular sort of understanding of people. It's like our etheric fingerprint in the universe about people. But, you know, I think, you know, and who doesn't actually enjoy a little bit? of their own smell. You know, it's a little bit like wanking or nose picking. It's not really appropriate, but who hasn't had a bit of an exercise one day and gone, oh yeah, that's fantastic, and gone for another sniff. I mean, there's something quite amazing about the composting human body. Oh, the world smells, we all smell. I mean, I would have loved to have lived in the time before stench. You know, stench retardants, you know, imagine what it would have smelt like, you know, rotting stuff and people. We've just become so kind of clean and clinical. But anyway, I think antiperspirant is the least of our cultural worries. I think if you're trying to sort of assist migrants, what are you going to do, force feed them lamingtons to get cultural knowledge? You're going to smear them in sort of Vegemite, get them lighting their own farts while they skull beer, you know, watching Shane Warne or something on a rerun of some cricket match? I mean, what are they talking about cultural norms? I think if they're really worried, you know, if Ms. Gambara is really worried, what we should have, if we could create, not an antiperspirant, but maybe a uh, retardant for bigoted, narrow-minded, moronic thinking, and we could start off by dropping a crate load in Ms. Gambara's front yard. Oh. Deodorant. That's awful. It is from Aldi, though. <laughs> going deodorant free today. I'm going to stink like